Welcome to UKSG 2022 in Telford. This is the Conference App User Guide. When you are in Telford at the UKSG 2022 Conference and Exhibition, we hope you will make great use of the mobile conference app. The purpose of this presentation is to give you a flavour of some of the features on the new 2022 Conference app. If you find there are some items that you feel could be added to this tutorial or you have any comments at all, please do not hesitate to let me know. Many thanks and have a great time in Telford. OK, let's get started. Download in the app one. You'll receive an invitation to download the app. It will look something similar to this. Click on either the App Store or Play Store depending on your device. I've used Apple for this guide, but the Play Store will be very similar. Downloading the app too. Once you have downloaded the app, open and search for UKSG Events 2022. This is case sensitive. The UKSG 45th Annual Conference will appear. Click on the download arrow to acquire the UKSG 2022 element. At some point, you'll be asked to log in. The details of how to do this are on the next slide. Right, now you're in the app. The first screen you will see is usually this screen. Click on Get Notifications to install Sure You Stay Up To Date. When you are first asked to log in, enter your first name, last name and registered email and click the arrow. You will be sent a verification code by email. Enter the code and you are into the app. OK, now you're in the app proper. This screen should appear. If not, click Profile at the bottom of the home screen. It's a good idea to check your profile to ensure all your details are correct. And here you can add a photo. Just click on View Profile to view and click on Pencil icon at the top of the screen to edit. The system is set to hide you from other delegates. In order to maximise your experience, we recommend you set yourself to visible. Thank you. While we're in profile, announcements give you access to all notifications sent to you. A message gives you access to messages sent to you by other delegates. While we're in Profile, let's look at your settings. Click on Settings and you'll see Notifications. This allows you to inhibit the receipt of notifications as well as announcements from your KSG. OK, let's look at some of the information we're holding. Click on Attendees Entry on the laterally scrolling menu near the top of the home screen. The Attendees screen will appear where you can search for unhindered delegates, access their details and message them. Accessing Sponsors Details Click on the Sponsors entry on the laterally scrolling menu near the top of the home screen. This will give you access to all our sponsors, where you can search and select for details including their event staff and stand location. Accessing Speakers Details Click on the Speakers entry on the laterally scrolling menu near the top of the home screen. This will give you access to all our speakers where you can search and select for details including the sessions that they are involved in. Exhibitors Details Click on the Exhibitors entry on the laterally scrolling menu near the top of the home screen. This will give you access to all our exhibitors, where you can search and select for their details, including stand information, links for more information, and details of staff at the event. You can find a map to the exhibition and the indexes to the stands on the More button under Exhibition Hall. Now, more information on the home screen. Click on the Home at the bottom of the screen. This is a screen you'll see. We have already seen at the top is scrollable access to attendees, sponsors, speakers and exhibitors. The next entry 
are reminders from your schedule with featured sessions below. Scrolling down the home screen, here we have access to the Platinum Sponsor, Ghana Dinner Partner and Live Stream Sponsors. Details of how to become a UKSG member and access to a UKSG presentation from our website and a link to details of upcoming UKSG events. Scrolling further down the home screen, we have connections to UKSG social media and details of all our other sponsors at the bottom of the screen. Let's look at some further content. Clicking on schedule on the menu at the bottom will give you access to your own schedule. My schedule will show the sessions you have in your agenda and you can add sessions to your schedule from the all sessions tab. You can click on profile at the bottom to access your personal details and edit as necessary. Now let's look at the more menu. Click on more on the bottom of the menu. This will give you access to additional resources. So let's go through them. More menu one. Click on any of the plenary session entries. This will give you access to a list of the plenary sessions for the day you have selected. More menu two. Click on any of the breakout session entries. This will give you access to a list of the presentation in the breakout session you select. More menu three. Click on lightning, lightning talks entry. This will give you access to a list of all the lightning talks. More menu four. Click on practical information entry. This will give you access, access to a list of useful information, including Wi-Fi, network, catering, retail catering, travel and tourist information, local transport, left luggage and cloakroom, accommodation, general help, free time suggestions and conference badges. More menu five. Click on Exhibition Hall entry. This will give you three options. View the Exhibition Hall floor plan, the Exhibitors by Name and Exhibitors by Stand. More menu 6. Click on Emergency Information entry. This will give you access to details of how to contact the emergency services in the UK. More menu 7. Click on About and this will give you details of the UKSG organisation. More menu 8. Click on Other Info to find out how to edit your privacy settings and details of the help desk. More menu 9. Click on UKSG Info to find details of UKSG News UKSG Annual Review, Insights, the UKSG Journal, and the UKSG Privacy Policy. More Menu 10. Click on Code of Conduct to see the UKSG Code of Conduct Policy. And finally, More Menu 11. At the bottom of the More Menu, you will find access to attendees, sponsors, speakers and exhibitors similar to the home page access described earlier. There is also a location map of t the Telford International Centre. Using live Q&A. When a session is in progress, in the Happening Now entry on the home menu, you will find an entry labelled Ask a Question. This will enable you to ask questions live within the session remaining anonymous if you prefer. Using polling. When a session is in progress, in the Happening Now entry on the home page, you may find an entry labelled Take Poll. This will enable you to participate in the poll within the session. Click on the Take Poll and submit your answers. Making appointments. 
The app allows you to make appointments with other delegates who have made themselves visible. Click on Schedule at the bottom of the screen and then click the purple plus sign. Making appointments. You can reserve time when you do not wish to have any appointments or you can make an appointment with any other visible delegate. Making appointments 3. Having decided you wish to make an appointment, here you can select the person you wish to meet and select them from the list of attendees and the time of the appointment with all your available and unavailable time shown on the screen. You can also add the subject and the description and below this you can add a private note. Making appointments for. The final screen will look something like this with the top of the screen looking like this and if you scroll down you should see the rest of the screen. All you need to do now is to just click send appointment invitation and your request will be sent. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any queries, please contact me as below. Thank you and enjoy the app and the conference.